Hey guys, little video about IOTA. I, 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 I am attracted to the technology. I'd like to uh, invest. Uh, it's very interesting, a new way to have a, I mean, the blockchain is uh, formed in a very different way. Um, so you don't need to have the whole blockchain to, uh, to verify transactions or to run a full node. No, because the, 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 the blockchain is built by verifying only the lost transactions, something like that. I don't understand it, but uh, it looks uh, solid. Um, and um, what, uh, what I find interesting though is the business model. I don't like that. Uh, the way it's done is that all IOTA were sold uh, via an ICO. And so now uh, to realize things, um, the leader David puts a pressure on investors to um, donate uh, money um, and I don't think that works it's a, it's a tragedy of the commons uh, problem that you're creating um, uh, because those that uh, donate are helping everyone uh, uh, and those that uh, don't donate uh, are profiting equally uh, from uh, those that donate. And so it makes economical sense not to donate eh? and to just uh, free ride. And, um, and then you can put a lot of pressure on people by calling them names and, 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 and uh, but that's just not, uh, that's not, that's not even, you're never gonna, convince uh, everyone to donate um, and, 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 and if you use um, uh, and if you start name calling people then it just puts a negative atmosphere in the community this is not how business is built um, but, yeah so um, in cryptocurrency this won't work either I don't believe in this and uh, that's why um, uh, I also sold uh, NXT at the bottom because I, I realized it lacked a business model. Eh? They have solved that by doing ICO, inflating the supply of coins and using these coins to pay developers and marketing. That's how you do it. Uh, because then everybody pays the bill. All coin holders get, um, have, uh, are forced but they are not forced, they just like the amount of coins increases, so they get diluted and mm, uh, they're free to leave the project and sell their coins if they don't like that. Uh, but um, but uh, that's a very good way to make everybody pay, all investors, all coin holders or shell holders pay their part of the bill. And then it's up to the management to allocate these funds wisely and make sure that the inflated supply is um, uh, these coins uh, uh, have a have a return uh, that uh, the, the 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 value of the coin goes up more than the amount uh, investors have been diluted and then you have profit even though you get diluted you have less percentage of the total coin supply when new coins are created if the new coins are invested wisely sold into the market and with those funds things are paid or you pay directly people with the new coins and then, uh, then you have profit. That's a good business model. Um, and I, I, this, so, so many coins don't have that and that's a big problem. Um, Monero uh, doesn't have that. Eh? Bitcoin does not have that. Litecoin does not have that. Dogecoin does not have They, they all don't have a business model. Eh? So there is no, there, there's no money for developers. This is a very big problem. Um, there are only a few coins uh, that, uh, that have this, uh, where new coins are created to pay for stuff, or from time to time, a new ICO is done, done which is the same, new coins are created uh, and, uh, and, uh, and to pay people. Um, so Ethereum did that as the first very, very well. Um, but Dash is also doing that, but not that well in my opinion, because the amount of new coins created is very low, at least the amount of new coins that go to developers, because if you just create new coins that go to people that validate transactions, as is the case in Dash, most new coins 
go to the uh, validators of transactions. That's not uh, paying developers that develop the coin and that's not paying uh, marketeers neither. Mm -hmm. So only about 10% of the new coins, maybe 20% go to pay for developers and pay for uh, marketing. And that's a very low amount eh? because, okay, you have only, let's say, 10% inflation uh, and uh, only 10% of the inflation goes to develop, uh, uh, development. So that's only 1% of the value of the coin per year that goes to the developers. This is too low, way too low. Eh? With Ethereum, this is a lot higher. Eh? So, so um, I don't know exactly, but... So, 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 um, and yeah, new coins that start the same way as old coins uh, without a business model and putting, trying to put pressure on people to, uh, to donate, to make things going. This is really not a good model. So due to that, I'm not going to invest in IOTA. Um, of course, some other coins, like it is possible to that things get developed this way if the founders have a lot of coins eh? like bitcoin also didn't have a business model uh, but uh, the founder had a lot of bitcoins eh? and so was motivated financially to continue to work on it even though he didn't get paid or got very little donations that's okay if you have a lot of coins and so uh, you can work that way but with iota the founders probably don't have a lot of coins because they did an ICO. And so come from beyond and David. They do an ICO, they, they, okay, 1,200 BTC was invested. And so uh, they also had to put in BTC to get coins. Yeah. So maybe they put in 50 BTC or 100 BTC. So maybe they have five or 10% of the supply. Okay, that's not bad, but that's not certain. They might have much less, um, but five ten percent yeah it's not that much eh? someone who, who who starts a company he owns a hundred percent not ten percent eh? so he they already like lost ninety percent of the, sh the ownership so of course with this model he, he he starts to put pressure on people to donate to get things done but yeah yeah i i don't believe in this so um, uh, with, uh, with Satoshi, for example, from Bitcoin, uh, the founder, he, he started mining uh, as the first a lot. And so today he has 1 million. That's maybe only like 8 or 7% of supply, but he hasn't been mining for very long, uh, for many, many years. In the beginning, he probably had like 50% of the supply of Bitcoin uh, that he owned. And then maybe 40% and 30%. Those were the amounts that he owned himself when he was working on the project. And so I'm considering investing in Monero, but I have no idea. They also lack a business model and they have an inflation like Bitcoin, but all the uh, new coins go to just miners, validators of transactions. And so I don't know how it's working there. They don't have a graphical user interface after three years. Or two years this is an indicator that there is a big problem that there is a problem uh, within the development to get things done eh? uh, which is not a surprise when uh, when you don't have uh, a proper business model to pay for development um, and it's all dependent on donations um, so, uh, what else uh, do we have in the market that's uh, interesting? No. Yeah, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.